Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be going through question number three from the Solomon K C1 papers, which are now called P1, Pure Mathematics P1, International A Level. And um, this is an old question from one of the old, older papers. And this is also question number 10 from the end of topic worksheet number one for my P1 collection for algebraic expressions. And it's a question that, um, you know, one of my students has asked me to answer. So I'll go through this question now. It says figure one shows the rectangles A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H, which are similar. So there's a very important word here. They're similar triangles. Okay. So that's very important, that word, because um, that will affect the whole of this question. Similar triangles. The meaning of that is that the ratio of the sides are the same. So the ratio of this side to this side is the same as the ratio of that side to that side, okay? So now, it says, given that AB is equal to three minus root five. So AB is this side here, so this is three minus the square root of five. And AD is equal to root five centimeters, so AD is equal to root five centimeters, so this is root five centimeters. And it says EF is one plus root five, so this is one plus root five centimeters. And it says, um, Find the length of EH. So I'm going to call this X. Giving you answers in the form A plus B root 5, where A and B are integers. Okay. So we know that the, these are similar. So the ratio of the widths is the same as the ratio of the length. So if I take the, the length EH, which we called X, and I divide it by the length of AD, which is root 5, it's going to give me exactly the same ratio as... The, the width of the, this, um, um, this bigger rectangle, which is one plus the square root of five, divided by the width of this triangle, which is a rectangle, sorry, which is three minus root five. Okay, so now we've got to find where x is in this form, a plus b root five. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do, I'll just, I'll write it down here. So we have here x, over root five equals one plus root five over three minus the square root of five. And we've got to find the value of X, which is what we're trying to find EH. So if we take this and we now cross multiply, multiply both sides by root five, you'll have X, oops, you'll have X equals, you'll have root five, times one plus the square root of five, divided by three minus the square root of five. Okay, so that's what you have there. Now, what we have to do is rationalize the denominator. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to multiply the denominator by three plus root five, because you have to multiply by the conjugate. To, to rationalize, okay, the denominator, you have to, multiply by the conjugate, which is basically what is needed to multiply this by to get rid of the square root. Okay, so that's the whole point in thirds. We're trying to get rid of the square root in the denominator. Okay, so um, when you have something in this form, you're using the principle of difference of squares to get rid of the square root, because if you square, if you multiply this bracket out, you're going to get the first term squared minus the second term squared. So the first term squared is going to give you nine and the second term squared is going to give you minus five because you're going to have minus five times plus five, which is going to give you five. So the square root will disappear. The middle term will be three root five and minus three root five, which will give you zero. But if you multiply the denominator by three root three plus root five, you must multiply the numerator by the same thing to keep this as an equivalent fraction. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this out. I'll leave the root five out for now. I'm going to multiply this bracket out. So I have 1 times 3, which is 3. 1 times root 5, which is plus root 5. And root 5 times 3, which is plus 3 root 5. And root 5 times root 5, which is 5. When you multiply root 5 by itself, you get 5. The, root, the square root disappears. And that's divided by now. This thing is going to basically become 9 minus 5. Because you're going to square the 3. 3 times 3 is 9. The middle term, which will be three root five and minus three root five gives you zero. And the minus five, minus root five times plus root five gives you minus five. When you multiply root five by itself, you just get rid of the square, square root sign. So we're almost there now. 
So that says, so x equals is going to be root 5 times, you're going to have 3 plus 5, which is 8 times, or plus, sorry, you're going to have root 5 plus 3 root 5. This is like, you know, like terms, like x plus 3x. This is root 5 plus 3 root 5, which is 4 times root 5 over 9 minus 5, which is 4. Now, they want to have it in this form, um, where you have basically just these terms. So you can see that there's a common factor here of 4. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take that common factor of 4 out. So I have 4 times root 5 times, now you're left with 2 plus root 5 over 4. Now these 4s will cancel. Now we want two separate terms, we want it factorized like this. So I'm going to multiply both of these by root 5. So I'll end up with 2 times root 5 plus root 5 to root 5 times root 5 is 5. So you end up with 5 plus 2 root 5 as your answer. And the question says A and B are integers. So they want it in this form and A and B are integers. They don't want you to say what A and B are. So you can just leave it like this. But you know, if you wanted to um, write what A and B were, then A would be uh, 5 and B would be 2 but they just want it in that form, a plus b root 5, a plus b root 5. So don't leave it in this factorized form up here, okay? Leave it in this form and, I, and in the end, write it in the same kind of format that they want, okay? 5 plus something root 5, a plus b root 5, that's exactly the form that they want. And there's the answer for question number 10 um, or from the end of topic worksheet, number three from the Solomon paper K. Thank you for watching. Um, other videos about um, on this particular topic will be found in this playlist um, over here and other papers from this Solomon paper, the Solomon made paper number K, other questions from Solomon K will be found over here and other questions from the end of topic worksheet for that I give to my students will be found somewhere in this area along with the subscribe um, icon and um, I'll put some other P1 related material in a card at the top so you can just navigate to different things that might you know, benefit you. So thank you for watching and, and I'll see you again soon.